Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to talk about the Action Pro software, which is the newest software release from HitFilm. Now, this is a beta project, which means that the company will be developing this project as we go with the users providing input as to exactly what they want. So right now, the brand new release doesn't have much to it, uh, but it shows a whole lot of potential of things that can happen and what can be done with it. Essentially, this software allows the user to organically animate, recording your movements, whether it is through a two-axis mouse or through a leap motion, and apparently they're going to add a whole bunch of other things as well. Okay, as of the time of this recording, there has been one update, and that's to add this snapping tool down here into the software. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk about using a two-action mouse because I don't have a uh, leap motion. I just have a two-action mouse. You can see the red dot, okay, and if I move my mouse around, the red dot moves around, and if I hit this recording button, then it would start recording that. You can also use the letter R, so if I start moving and I hit the letter R, it starts recording my movement of my mouse, and it's obviously very organic, right? It's just whatever I feel like moving, this sort of a thing like this. I hit R again, and it stops okay so now i have about 12 seconds of a recording and it's sitting right here okay so what can i do with this well i can create a new animation project by clicking there and if i double click on it then it will open it up here in the timeline okay and then this recording animation if i hit this key or if i drag it down here either way it will insert itself into the project and you can see there it is and if i hit the play button you can actually see how that is moving around inside of there okay now currently i have x data i have y data on the y position and then i have in theory z data but the reality is there is no z data because it was only an excess so what i'm going to do is is i am going to delete that z data okay and i am going to record a new thing instead so i am just going to do this and record some more information and it's on the x and y axis right and then i'll hit stop and now i have a second recording and i'm just going to drag this down here and place it into that data but i'm going to use shall i use the x or the y i'll use the x data of that second recording as my thing now i'm just going to go ahead Actually, what I think I will do is, is I'll just make, let's make a 10 second video and I will just trim this to 10 seconds and same with this so that I have this 10 second video of data that is here. And if I play it, you can see it's sort of all over the place. All right. Now, here's what I'm going to do. The first thing you can see that there are some jitters and that's because of my mouse it's it's not a you know it's it's too sensitive almost so what you do is is you use this low pass smooth and if you go lower like that then it makes it smoother and if I do that on all three of these positions I'm just going to go smooth as smooth as I can be now you can see how smooth that movement is right looks pretty cool you can also reverse the data if you want it I think I'll just leave it right but you could do a whole lot with it, okay? And not, and didn't take much time. And it, you know how long it would take to keyframe something like this. And I just real quickly can put this together. Now the animation itself, I would click on this. One of the things that I've noticed is, is that this in hit film is going to be huge. It's going to be really way too big. So I like to knock the export scaler down. I like to scale it to about. 0.3 of its normal size and I have found that 0.3 is about as big as I want it to be normally then I would hit this icon right here and and I could say oh let me save it and I'm just gonna call this data okay this is my export data so now if I go over to hit film and I say import a composite shot I can I have to search for and find my data uh, and I bring it in. Now, here's the camera that was looking, that we looked at 
in the this software this this view is the camera that is in this view and then here's the animation point okay and you can see that it's fairly good size and it's moving around and all that data is sitting in the keyframe position point right there okay for 10 seconds worth okay so now what exactly can you do with all that data that's the question and the answer is you can do a whole lot of stuff okay you can attach it to a particle system and then gray motion on the forums wrote his name using that gray motion on the forums also did this really cool twirly particle system using a few of the things that he had captured other things that I have done included uh, I hand animated a landing of a spaceship and also a dog fight between two uh, fighter ships. And in that case, I actually used the new HitFilm Pro follow behavior as well. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's how this software works and we're really excited to see where it goes from here so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments also i will leave a link in the description below to the hitfilm forum um, discussion page where you can talk about this software more and also see a tutorial by the ceo of hitfilm regarding the software as well so thanks for watching